uh, today, I, since I get back with this latest video I put on YouTube uh, about um, you know Johnny Talakos. Um, earlier album um, Zero, when you use a uh, FL Studio on a Pentium 3 and I use the old track with simple low CPU distortion module and EQ. So let me show you how to build a guitar tone with overdriven without using VST Guitar M, but only, yeah, only plugin from Reaper if you're a Reaper user. Let's check it out and let me show you there in this tutorial. So, three plugin, three free plugin from in Reaper, two, uh, no wait, two plugin, in fact, two re EQ, one for the input, one for the output, and JS plugin in Reaper as distortion plugin. I know a lot of people talk to you about using a wave shaper but what we're using a wave shaper that already got a wave shaper js plugin and reaper graphic wave shaper but what was wasting your time to do a wave shape profile and get the right distortion that you already get a distortion plugin in js plugins and you say that at my 46 and when gain rness at 10 maximum volume at minus 20 uh, put that in stereo because i want to do a doubler on it of course you know me so the order is a re the distortion the pulse eq and the of course the <coughs> the impulse the uh, the cab on it so why don't you use a simple guitar and vst rather than use three plugin on the phone you know it's simple cpu time you know all this plugin use 0 0.1 or 0, 0.0 point fucking two person of cpu compared to a you know over sampled high quality you know you said high quality over sampling of a, a guitar M vst that use five person of cpu time six seven and eight depending if you use uh, stereo routing or not but hey this is um cpu fusion rig so all this okay i started up with uh, a clean guitar which i put a re that cut down wanted low frequency so this is this first eq act as a treble booster or if you want some tube screamer overdrive <laughs> They turn it up into a distortion. And scoop it up. Uh, this EQ act as a power M. Uh, you know, power M EQ. So I put the first um, first band at um, 20 Hertz and I put that at 36, gain of 36. So this power <laughs> curve exaggerating curve acts as the bottom end of the power amp the second one at as this little scoop that and the third one act as the, the over arch high frequency you don't want ear because the, you hear bleed when you listen to this and the result of that something like that can um, match for my Metallica impulse as well. So it match the Injustice Fall impulse with a proper chunk, chunky stuff. And this is as simple as that. You need to plug in it. And the, the overall rig, if I include the slapback doubler, the regate, that's like that I use always one zero point two person CPU regate zero point one req this first req at zero point one distortion zero point one and req chronos yeah this is the result with the the last the last stage eq the bottom end without this one sound too high and this bottom end um curve give this bottom end mm -hmm. 
So three all this and all together result at 0.2% of CPU use all the rig use zero one sorry one point one one point two percent CPU rather than five percent or six or seven and eight percent CPU of a guitar and VST complete guitar in VST and the overall rig including the bass guitar with um you know the best guitar with um okay use the BOD we use one person CPU pitch octave down yeah this is a, j a pitch octave down a JS plugin included Reaper I recommend this one um Regate the Nadar another Nadar for the bass guitar and cab including the drums and all the plugin in and the G loop of course including um, <coughs> all the other stuff that says uh, G loop, uh, re reverberate and uh, master limiter G another JS plugin. The overall take to 5.5 to 3.5 to 2.11 and 5 percent of CPU maximum so this is really CPU efficient you know that's really cool. So this is a way to create um, your own guitars amp sim just uh, why i did that today because then i got inspired with this light latest video on, on uh, back to fl studio the way i use trick uh to emulate some distortion and amp and cab simulating on uh, fl studio under a pentium 3 old computer so this is my trick so thanks for watching a little quick trip and uh, free if using your Reaper user, even on a Raspberry Pi Reaper, this version as well sounds CPU efficient for that. So thanks for watching. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.